As the nation continues to grapple with gun violence and mass shootings, this morning the Supreme Court upheld a federal law that bars guns from domestic abusers, ultimately rejecting an argument that the current law violated the Second Amendment. ABC's Christiane Cordero has the details from Washington. Today, the Supreme Court overwhelmingly decided the Constitution allows the government to disarm anyone who poses a credible threat to another, in this case from a man with a restraining order against him for domestic violence. The man argued he could not be disarmed because the original Second Amendment did not include domestic violence. The court rejected that argument in an 8-1 to one ruling. I think that's what's coming through here, the idea of trying to keep citizens of all walks of life safe in the United States. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote the majority opinion, saying in part, quote, We conclude only this, an individual found by a court to pose a credible threat to the physical safety of another may be temporarily disarmed consistent with the Second Amendment. Justice Clarence Thomas was the only member of the court to dissent. Still undecided are several landmark rulings, including the biggest abortion case since the court overturned Roe versus Wade two years ago. The question, is abortion access protected by federal law when a woman's health is at risk? That major case out of Idaho pitting the state's ban on abortions unless necessary to prevent death against the federal law guaranteeing that patients be given emergency care even when emergency care includes the termination of a pregnancy. The justice's decision could impact abortion bans in state across the country. Also still in front of the Supreme Court, does Donald Trump or any former president have immunity from prosecution for official acts while in office? The case stems from Trump's sweeping claim of absolute immunity from any criminal prosecution for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election, including the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Trump claims presidents cannot be prosecuted for official actions they took in office. And another Trump-related case asks if hundreds of people who stormed the Capitol on January 6th were improperly charged with obstruction because the law prosecutors used was written for business and financial crimes. The court has 12 cases left to decide, including the ones we just mentioned. The next batch of decisions is scheduled to be released on Wednesday. Christiane Cordero, ABC News at the Supreme Court.